Can you balance time off with family while finishing the year well in your business? If you're highly intentional, you can. It comes down to intentionality. Um, I think when you know you got the Q3 budget trying to wrap up, you can tell Q4 we're not going to make it, or we're going to barely make it, or I've got a. You start having a fantasy about whether you're going to make it or not make it, or you're going to have the best Christmas, all that. And then your kids are busy, and you got travel plans, and people coming over, all that. It's easy to try to do everything all at the same time. And so it's an important thing for me to remember, and I'm in the middle of the season too, is if I'm on the road, if I'm doing work things, I need to be fully there. And it doesn't help my kids any if I'm somewhere not with my kids thinking about, I should be with my kids right now. It's not helping them at all. It's just making me crappier at my job. And when I'm with them, if I'm trying to half get work done on my phone or whatever, I'm doing a half job on my work. So be where you're at and just be intentional about setting up some time. Um, my wife and I have, are setting up some pretty pretty strong boundaries at the beginning of every week to get us through these these weeks where we stop smiling on our faces every day. Yeah, let's talk about boundaries. Describe what boundaries you've put in place maybe in the past, mm-hmm. especially around the holiday season with work and family. Because it can be hard to turn off and go, all right, I'm not in work mode, I'm in family mode. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to check the email, I'm not going to have the laptop out. What do those boundaries look like? Uh, man, can I back up for a second? Yeah. Um, we get we have a habit of you wake up and you check your phone or you wait till 9 o'clock or whatever, um, you watch – you listen to Jocko and Ryan Holiday, so you don't check your phone until you get to work or whatever your, the thing is. When we're on holiday, when we have time off, when you're with your family, you're working half days, whatever that is, we stay in that same habit. And so I think it's, an, it's important to be intentional and say, I'm not at work, so I need some new routines and new habits. And so I'm going to put my phone in a drawer. I'm going to completely disconnect. So to answer your original question, some of the things um, that's been important for us with boundaries is no technology. Like, be really intentional about technology use. And when the kids are in the room, puts all screens are down, right? Focus on them. If I need to be on my screen, I'm going to go to a separate room, close the door so I can get in and get out of that thing. Um, we're hyper-intentional in my house about the things that we talk about and don't talk about, whether that's, you know, this year, like, no politics, no COVID, no, like, let's don't talk about religion. There was a season when a lot of my family members, we all worked at the same university, we all ended up talking about work all the time. And this leader's doing this. Can you believe it? So no work. Talk. Just talk about human stuff. Laugh. Tell the same old dumb stories over and over. And find ways to poke at each other. Whatever brings your family joy. Um, but those are really important for us. And with boundaries comes this uh, really fancy word. It's two letters. No. Hmm. How do you know when to say no as you make plans? You can be stretched in a lot of different directions when it comes to the holidays. How do you do that appropriately without you know hurting a relationship? So I think the cool hip thing to say is if it's not all yes, it's all no, right? In the holidays, that's dumb because some holiday, sometimes you drive eight hours to honor your grandmother who's still with us. And so my rule of thumb is does it honor me or does it honor somebody else? And if it doesn't do one of those things, then I'm going to start leaning towards let's let's pass on this. And so does it honor me? Um, is this going to be a restorative activity? Is this something I have time or energy to devote to? Um, or is it going to honor my kids to go to their play? You know what I mean? Or is it going to honor my grandmother to drive eight hours and get there? Um, in that trip, once I say I'm in, that trip's not about me anymore. It's about honoring my grandmother. It's about honoring my parents. It's about honoring my aunt and whatever thing we're going to. So does it honor me? Does it honor, you know, my workplace? If Dave asks us, hey, I want you all to be at this holiday event, it's going to be important for people who work with us, who um, support us, that I'm going to go. I'm going to, it's because it's going to honor Dave, it's going to honor this company. And so does it honor me? Does it honor somebody else? And then outside of those things, then I, I'm more like, nah. But the whole, it's either in or out, I don't, I don't think the holidays are that simple, man, because we have multiple roles in multiple areas of our life.